Hello, hey CISD family. Today we are shooting right this minute from Lehman High School, and I wanted to give you a brief update from our board meeting on Monday night. So the trustees uh, approved a bond package that will go out to the community for a May election. It's a $238 million bond package that features A through F propositions, and the large uh, items in the, uh, the bond package are a uh, new elementary school at Sunfield, um, extensions uh, to the existing schools at Elm Grove and at Negley, um, ex uh, expansions to our middle schools, as well as several other projects. Be looking uh, for more information on our website, and also I will be making a detailed video explaining each of those propositions as we move forward. Next, I wanted to give you an update as far as our vaccines are concerned, and I don't want to be like the little boy that cried wolf. Um, we have not received our doses in our, in our county, um, and the state hasn't received what they thought they were going to, and so we are at the ready uh, based on the information that you uh, have given us, but the supply chain is not moving as fast as we would like. And so just wanted to make sure that you were on the same page with us as far as vaccines are concerned. I appreciate your patience. It's not something that we can control. It's all based on the supply chain. Today's feature program is the Women in STEM uh, program at Lehman High School. And to tell us more about it is Jamie Villarreal. Jamie? Hello. My name is Jamie Villarreal. I'm the science instructional coach at Lehman High School. I'd like to start by reminding everyone that January is School Board Recognition Month, so on behalf of everyone at Lehman High School, I'd like to thank our school board members for their tireless commitments to Hayes CISD. I'd next like to thank Dr. Wright for coming to visit us at Lehman High School and allowing us to spotlight Lehman's Women in STEM program. Women in STEM is a student organization on campus that serves to encourage, support, and inspire young women as they pursue their passions in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. To help me, um, share the story of women in STEM, I'd like to introduce the founder of Women in STEM, Jihan Park. Thank you, Jamie. Women in STEM started as a Women in STEM career panel, actually, in the spring that we did before things got all crazy. Um, and the interest was so great that we had actually decided to launch into a club. Um, before the um, school closures, we were able to take the girls to the Women in Science and Engineering Conference at Texas State. Um, and we had big plans for last year, which we carried into this year. Um, the initial purpose for Women in STEM was to increase female enrollment in engineering and advanced math and science classes at Lehman, but the club has grown into a much more involved student organization here on campus. G and I are exceptionally proud to be working with the extraordinary young women that we have on campus who are leaders not only in STEM in, at Lehman High School, but as well as in a variety of other areas, including band, uh, varsity athletics, our computer science courses, National Honor Society, Student Council, and a variety of other student organizations. And of course, G and I would not be successful without the tireless support of our co-sponsors. We would very much like to thank Rowan Armour, Ray Holland, and Belinda Keelan for helping us with Women in STEM this year. Though the majority of our members have been virtual this year, we've still been able to accomplish a lot and give them a lot of opportunities. We've hosted guest speakers and guest panels from STEM professionals, um, faculty at different universities. Um, we've been offering college matchmaking seminars that allow students to explore their options for different college degrees, programs, and universities and schools that they may not have been considering before. And we've also provided opportunities for, for members in terms of campus and community outreach, um, leadership as, um, for example, providing student-to-student -student encouragement for taking advanced math and science classes, um, participating in our Girls Who Code group, and also mentorship. One of the initiatives that our student members were particularly passionate about this year was a mentorship program. So in collaboration with some science teachers at the middle schools in the district, Women in STEM started the district's first STEM mentorship program. We currently have eight Lehman Lobos serving as mentors for 12 middle school students across our feeder schools. We're hoping that through this program we can not only um, foster a sense of leadership um, amongst our Lehman students, but also fuel a passion for STEM in our incoming ninth grade students. This is also an opportunity for Lehman students to demonstrate the wide varieties of ways that they can contribute to the STEM culture across the district. We're hoping that the Hayes CISD community can join us for our spring festival event on April 23rd, hosted right here at Lehman High School. For more information, you can follow us on Twitter, at Lobo Women in STEM, and also visit our website. View the video description section below for more details. As a token of my appreciation for your hard work for creating this program and, and offering uh, so many 
uh, new opportunities for our ladies here at Layman High School and hopefully uh, the, the district as a whole. I'd like to present each of you with a superintendent's coin of excellence. And so thank you so much for your hard work and all that you're doing for us. Thank you very much. Thank you. We're so grateful for the district for highlighting this hardworking group of young women at Layman High School. Um, and we're looking forward to the rest of this year and all the things that we can do. And we're really optimistic that with this program, through our mentoring efforts and through our community outreach efforts, um, this will really grow into a, a passionate change across the district to support young women in STEM. Thanks for watching this edition of Right This Minute. And in closing, I would just like to say right now, times are hard and the struggle is real, but so is your ability to overcome it. Keep persevering and keep your chin up. Have a great day.